Schlüssel. Lass mich doch. Hey, listen man, listen man, nie ein Talking to you, okay? Listen, look, but let me just fuck it up tonight, right? Let me, let me go. Listen man, say what, man. Listen, man, nie ein Talking to you. Oh, what, man? Look, man, let me go. Take one from the face, yeah, man? Well, man, you're dead tonight, man. Look, I know I never thought I had so much rage and anger in me. Now, all of a sudden, the whole life just flashed back in front of me just because it's my slap, man. I see red. And I realized all of a sudden that I was just angry over everything. Angry because my mother just left and went to America. Angry because when the granny had to dead leave me. Angry because of the way my auntie Gladys treated me. Angry because of the boys who refused to take me in, man. Angry because I was afraid to lose Lucille. And angry because this man just slapped me and embarrassed me in front of everybody. And as though a demon just fell from the head and they just lose it, man. So I just left on the side, man. And I said to them again and again and again. And he falls to the ground, man. The only time I come to my senses was when the warm blood just splattered all over my face. And you said, oh God. Oh God, what I do? What I do? Oh God. What I do? So I was brought into the courtyard. I was surprised to see the amount of people standing there. Some women were crying. Others were just casting remarks. As I entered the courthouse, I saw Mr. and Mrs. Smith were there. Uncle Boise. Auntie Gladys didn't come because she said the devil had finally caught up with me. <laughs> there was my mother, sitting in the front row, looking so nice and so pretty. She had finally gotten her papers fixed up. The trial went on for six long days. As the witnesses, they came and went. To me, it was one big, long night. Finally, time came for the lawyers to make the final presentation to the jury. My lawyer he pleaded to the jury to reach out and try to save the young generation, especially the young men. Instead of banishing me to an institution where I'll be lost forever. And I really thought that I had a chance. Except for when the prosecutor stepped forward to make final delivery to the jury. I could remember every single word he said up to this day. Every word as he looked at the jury and said, the fallen and members of the jury, David Jules went back to the nightclub on the night in question with one motive, to get even with anyone who was messing around with his girl. I'm not saying that he, maybe he was intimidated, possibly. But haven't we all been in intimidated in our very lives? Oh yes, we have. But what did we do? Did we take a knife or a cutlass or a hatchet or a gun and hack our men enemies to pieces as was done in the days of the wild, wild west? Oh no, we abided by law and order. But the young men, these days, they believe as though they can act as commandos and executioners. Not the slightest provocation they want to keep. And sometimes no provocation at all. The sanctity of life has been cheapened. And the respective of the young, the young man's age, we have to send the message loud and clear. Life 
has to be respected. David Jews, he murdered a defenseless man in cold blood. And he must, he must pay the penalty. came back. Filed in one by one. He answered the names and then they took the seats. The judge then asked me to stand. Oh God. Please give me another chance. Please. You know I need to do it Lord. The judge and asked the foreman, Jerome, to step forward. The entire courtroom was in silence. As the verdict, the verdict was about to be read. Mr. Foreman, have the members of the jury agreed upon a verdict? Yes, we have. How say you? Is David Jules guilty or not guilty of murder? Guilty. That was how it happened. From the beginning, right to the very end. This is my story. My story. This is my story. This is my story. Somebody tell me, tell me where I was born. For I thought that being a man was the norm of my But nobody ever told me this was not right. So talk to the youth. Tell us the truth. Lessons of survival to make it through this world. Show us you love, tell us you care. This is the message that every youth may do.